good morning students today i am going to explain simple harmonic motion which is in second semester bsc physics waves and oscillations this is a very very important question in the semester examination the examiner will ask this question in such a way that define simple harmonic motion and obtain its differential equation and also its a solution now let we start this topic simple harmonic motion after completion of this topic you understand the simple harmonic motion and know the examples and uh, how to derive the equation of motion of a, a simple harmonic oscillator now let we see first uh, the definition of simple harmonic motion when a particle or body moves back and forth about the mean position again and again over the same path in such a way that its acceleration is always directed towards a mean position and varies directly as its distance from that fixed point see that uh, underlined points back and forth and next underlined point is its acceleration is always directed towards a mean position and varies directly as its uh, distance from the fixed point these are the very very important underlined sentences because it gives the simple harmonic example now to understand the definition deeply we use a simple pendulum here now this is a simple pendulum which is oscillating with rigid support now this is a, a simple bob this simple bob is at mean position at the starting and now you displace the bob from mean position to a certain distance making an angle theta and then released now this bob moves towards the mean position and overshoots and it moves away from the mean position after reaching a maximum point and again it's coming towards the mean position and again it overshoots the mean position means that it can't stop the mean position until a certain time because of due to inertia of the bob here you understand this one as when we displace this bob through a distance ax the restoring forces produce in a body now the restoring forces try to bring the body towards the mean position that is the force f is acting always towards the mean position in both extreme positions so that the body overshoots the mean position means that it can't stop at the mean position until a certain time so that the bob is oscillating to and fro about the mean position or it is moving back and forth about the mean position here the main important point in this definition is the acceleration of the body is directly proportional to its distance from the fixed point that is more the displaced u the bob from the mean position more will be the acceleration now that acceleration is directed towards the mean position now see the examples of this uh, simple harmonic motion here a pendulum of clock swings back and forth a pendulum of a clock swings back and forth that is in our general life we see the wall clock which has a pendulum which is oscillating to and fro for every second and the next example is vibration of tuning fork that is when we excite the tuning fork the prongs of tuning fork are oscillating to and fro about the mean position and the next example is vertical oscillation of a loaded spring vertical oscillations of a loaded spring that is here when we load the spring for suppose see this here this is a spring you used and the spring is attached to to the load of mass m when you displace this mass m through a distance x this is the new position and released then what happen this mass or load moves 
towards the mean position and overshoots its takes a new position after that it again coming back to the mean position and again again it continues this oscillation nothing but it is in simple harmonic motion now let we <coughs> derive its a differential equation that is differential equation of a, a simple harmonic oscillator here see this uh, simplest diagram here the particle mean position is o and this is a particle now that is we displace this particle through a distance x and then released then what happened we know that it is moving back and forth about the mean position here see this direction of force it is acting towards the mean position here see this o is a mean position and uh, p is a particle or body and x is equals to displacement and f is equals to force that is a restoring force acting towards the mean position now let we start this one we know that from the definition of simple harmonic motion the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement here more will be the displacement taken by the bob more force acting on the bob towards the mean position here we take an negative symbol here the negative indicates that the force f is opposite to the displacement here see this equation one f is equals to minus kx where k is called as proportionality constant here from newton's second law f is equals to ma and uh, in the next step a is written as d square x by dt square this is another form of acceleration why we use the newton second law means the restoring force produces acceleration the restoring force produces acceleration in a body to move back and forth about the mean position that's why we take an newton second law f is equals to ma which is gives rise to f is equals to m into d square x by dt square now see this equation 1 and equation 2 both are equal because of it produce an acceleration now m into d square x by dt square is equals to minus kx that is we are equating the equation 1 and 2 and the next step see this d square x by dt square is equals to minus k by m into x and the next step is d square x by dt square plus k by m into x is equals to 0 here the k by m is replaced here a new term called as angular frequency it, such as d square x by dt square plus omega square x is equals to 0 where omega square is equals to k by m here uh, this is the second order differential equation of a simple harmonic oscillator it is very useful in deriving the displacement of a simple harmonic oscillator now this is the second order differential equation by this equation we are going to derive the solution of a simple harmonic oscillator because of the unknown one is x in this equation now next going to solution of simple oscillator so in this <coughs> derivation let us see carefully what we are using and what we are substituting d square x by dt square thing but acceleration this acceleration is written by as d by dt of dx by dt as we know that dx by dt is v then we get dv by dt here this one remake as dv by dx into dx by dt which is written as again v into dx by uh, sorry dv into dv by dx it is an equation 5 now put this equation 5 in equation 3 what we got in equation 3 that is d square x by dt square is equals to minus k by m into x see this what we are getting v into dv by dx is equals to minus omega square x now uh, from variable separable v into dv is equals to minus omega square x into dx that is we are taking dv uh, from v side and a x dx from uh, to x side now integrate the equation 6 integral of v into dv is equals to minus omega square integral x into dx as we know the integration formula integral of x power n into d into dx is equals to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 
that is the power is uh, in v is uh, 1 that is v power 1 into dv we get uh, v square by 2 is equals to minus omega square into x square by 2 plus c here c is a constant of integration and it is obtained by applying boundary condition when x is equals to a and v is equals to 0 why we are going to apply boundary condition is to get the value of c here when x is equals to a means the bob is at extreme position so at the extreme position the velocity is 0 that's why the bob is coming again towards the mean position now c we are putting these values in the above equation as v is equals to 0 the left hand side becomes 0 and is equals to minus omega square and uh, instead of x we are substituting a a square by 2 plus c now the value of c is equals to omega square a square by 2 this is the equation 8 now equation 8 in equation 7 we are substituting then we get v square by 2 is equals to minus omega square x square by 2 plus omega square a square by 2 this is the value of c now after calculation we get v square is equals to omega square into a square minus x square we take in common omega square then v is equals to omega into square root of a square minus x square this is the required equation velocity for simple harmonic oscillator from this equation we also get the maximum velocity of simple harmonic oscillator by putting at the x is equals to 0 at x is equals to 0 means the bob is at the mean position at the mean position then get a we are maximum velocity v is equals to omega a that is nothing but v max v max is equals to omega into a this is the maximum velocity of the bob that is the bob has the bob has maximum velocity at the mean position and the bob has zero velocity at the extreme position here now continues this derivation v is equals to omega square into a square minus x square and the next step is v is equals to omega into root of a square minus x square now we are remaking this one as dx by dt is equals to omega into root of a square minus x square that is v is equals to dx by dt now <coughs> calculation dx by square root of a square minus x square is equals to omega into dt let we put the value of x is equals to a sin theta we may put sin cos theta also now i am taking x is equals to a sin theta now in some textbooks they are also taken as x is equals to a cos theta now i taking x is equals to a sin theta which is equation 9 now differentiating this equation we are getting dx is equals to a cos theta into d theta putting these values in the above equation that is the dx by root of a square minus x square is equals to omega dt we are getting as dx a cos theta d theta divided by root of a square minus at place of x we are putting a square sin square theta is equal to omega into dt <coughs> in the next step we see this a cos theta into d theta and taken in the square root a square as a common 1 minus sin square theta is equals to omega into dt here a cos theta d theta divided by a cos theta that is uh, we have a formula 1 minus sin square theta is equals to cos square theta then in the numerator a cos theta in the denominator a cos theta both will be cancelled and then d theta is equals to omega into dt to get the value of theta we should integrate the above equation so then we get theta is equals to omega t plus phi where phi is a constant now putting the value of theta in equation 9 we get x is equals to a sin omega t plus phi this c is the solution of the simple harmonic oscillator here solution means once we get the displacement equation then it is easy to find the acceleration of a simple harmonic oscillator and how much amount of force acting on the simple harmonic oscillator and also we find the time periods angular accelerations and kinetic energies potentials and so on that's why it is called as solution of a simple harmonic oscillator i hope you understand this topic you may any doubt please comment in the comment section and i will give the clarification 
थैंक यू